Unraveling the mystery. Who let the cat in? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase that might seem simple at first glance, but is packed with meaning and cultural nuances. Who let the cat in? Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, understanding these phrases can add a colorful layer to your communication. So, let's unravel this mystery together. Firstly, let's break down the literal meaning of, who let the cat in? At face value, this question is asking who is responsible for allowing a cat to enter a specific area. It's a straightforward query that might be used in a household setting where perhaps a cat has entered a place it usually doesn't go, or if there's a surprise at finding a cat indoors. Moving beyond the literal, who let the cat in, can also have figurative or metaphorical meanings. In English, cats are often associated with mystery, independence, and unpredictability. Therefore, this phrase can be used metaphorically to question the cause of a sudden or unexpected situation. For example, if a meeting starts to go off topic or becomes chaotic, someone might humorously ask, who let the cat in, to lighten the mood and draw attention to the need for focus. Understanding the cultural context is crucial for fully grasping the essence of such phrases. In many cultures, cats are beloved pets, symbols of luck, or even mystery. However, in English-speaking cultures, phrases involving cats often carry humorous or light-hearted connotations. This phrase can be seen as a playful way to address minor surprises or confusions, embodying the English language's penchant for using animal-related idioms to describe human situations. How do you use, who let the cat in, in everyday conversation? It's important to gauge the context and tone of the discussion. This phrase is best used in informal settings among friends or family, where its light-heartedness can be fully appreciated. It's not typically used in formal contexts but can be a delightful addition to storytelling or casual chats to express surprise or introduce a humorous twist. And there you have it, the layers behind the seemingly simple question, who let the cat in? We hope this exploration adds a new dimension to your understanding of English phrases and their rich meanings and contexts. Remember, language learning is not just about words and grammar. It's about connecting with cultures, emotions, and each other in the most vibrant ways. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to uncovering more language mysteries with you. Keep learning and stay curious.